every Super Bowl, companies try to grab a few popcorn headlines with their over-the-top and outrageously expensive halftime ads. However, this year, Chevy took the paper crown with their ad for their new electric truck, which features Meadow Soprano in a recreation of the original Sopranos title sequence. Not only does the commercial feature actors Jamie Lynn Siegler and Robert Eiler, David Chase himself actually directed it, and several members of the show's crew were involved as well. Given the incredible legitimacy of having David Chase involved, fans are obviously wondering if this could possibly be more than just a car commercial. Is this canon to the actual show? And could it possibly be a hint at a potential sequel? Well, as a Sopranos content creator, you know I had to milk this opportunity and talk about all of that. So, let's take a look and examine the Sopranos Super Bowl commercial. As I mentioned, the commercial is a faithful recreation of the title sequence of the show. They were able to license the song Woke Up This Morning by Alabama 3 and follow the same route that Tony takes during the original opening. There are some slight differences, of course given that New Jersey has changed in the last 22 years, as well as some more deliberate changes. One, of course, being that Meadow is eating a lollipop instead of smoking a cigar like Tony. It does make sense that Meadow would not smoke, as well as the fact that Chevy probably doesn't want to associate their brand with a health hazard. You were the one who was supposed to quit smoking and didn't. That contains an addictive substance. The iconic Satriali sign is, of course, present in both versions. However, in the new version, there's a sign showing that their meat contains no antibiotics. Considering what we've seen go on down there, antibiotics are the least of my concern. It's gonna be a while before I eat anything from Satri House. Another change is the fact that Meadow doesn't stop to grab a ticket at the toll booth like Tony, and instead drives through with an easy pass. Another sign that technology has advanced from Tony's time. And, you know, also the fact that Meadow is driving an electric truck. It's actually funny to see Meadow driving an electric vehicle too, considering she didn't seem to care about the environment when AJ brought it up in Season 6. You need to familiarize yourself with hybrid cars, Meadow. It's important. This is the conversation in the future. Why are you breaking my balls about hybrid cars? I don't give a shit. I've been up all night. Oh, you're tired? Poor you. You never give two fucks about the environment. However, the most obvious departure from the show is the fact that Meadow is not driving to their house in North Caldwell, and is instead meeting her brother AJ at Bar's Landing, a famous seafood restaurant in Highlands, New Jersey. However, this does have a connection to the show. The area that they are in is nearby Whitecaps, the house that Tony wanted to buy in Season 4. In fact, the restaurant that they're meeting at was actually mentioned in the show. You get some sea air. We'll stop at bars, you won't have to cook. God damn it. Yeah, I really want lobster. This is also the same area that they were staying at when they were forced to go into hiding in the series finale, Made in America. In speaking of the finale, one of the most iconic moments from the final sequence is Meadow struggling to parallel park. The commercial plays at this with Meadow easily driving into an open spot, so she can charge her car. Maybe if she had had the powerful four-wheel steering of the all-new Silverado EV that night, she would have been able to get to the restaurant quicker, been able to save her father, and we might have gotten a seventh season of the show. Thanks a lot, Meadow. Boo! You stink! Now, as I mentioned, many fans are wondering if this commercial is canon to the show. Did AJ and Meadow survive that night, and continue on with their lives to the current day. After all, with David Chase involved, the argument that this is actually AJ and Meadow sounds reasonable. Well, while we have no confirmation either way, at least not at the time of recording this, the day of Super Bowl 56, there is an interesting detail with Meadow's wedding ring. In the last episode of the show, Meadow is engaged to Patrick Parisi, and we can see her engagement ring here. In the commercial, Jamie Lynn Siegler is wearing a wedding ring as well. Now, it's not the actress's actual wedding ring that can be seen here, which means that they deliberately put a different wedding ring on her. This means that if this is actually Meadow, she is married in the current year. 
Now, it's hard to make out the fine details of the ring, but even if it's not the exact same ring as shown on the show, Patrick may have just gotten her a different ring for the actual wedding. So, while it's impossible to know if Meadow married someone else, it seems probable that Meadow married Patrick after all. However, like I said, there's no indication either way if this is meant to be connected to the show. After all, the Sopranos stars did plenty of commercials that obviously have no connection to the show. Why, Jimmy? Why are you still not renting your movies from the Netflix? Come here, sit down. It's easy. Make a list of movies you want to see and get your first DVDs in the mail in about one business day. Oh, it is easy. Shut up. The fact that David Chase himself directed the commercial might simply have been to make sure that they didn't mess with his legacy. After all, only he's allowed to do that. But what about the idea that this might be some kind of hint at a potential sequel to The Sopranos? After all, in the behind the scenes video, Jamie says this. It's this funny thing with Sopranos. Every time you think it's the last time that we're gonna all be together, or the last time we're really gonna talk about The Sopranos world, there's always something else. Well, to all the fans excited about a spin-off series, I have one thing to say. It's a commercial, nothing more. It's true that there were some discussions around a potential miniseries set after the events of The Many Saints of Newark. However, that would be a prequel set in the past, not a sequel to the events of the series, if it even happens at all. There has never been anything to suggest that Chase or HBO is even open to the idea of doing a sequel to the show. And from everything I know about the actors, I highly doubt that they would even consider the idea given the show's tremendous legacy. So unfortunately, my spec script, Meta Soprano Mob Lawyer, will have to stay in the drawer for now. Although I'm open to the idea, HBO. As always, Sopranos fans, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to subscribe. And stay tuned for more Sopranos videos coming soon. For some strange reason, I feel the urge to go buy a truck. Tommy Smith, Abdallah Alamari, Russell, Sean, Heart of Markness, Broccoli, Logan, Clean, John Reyna, Jesse Sterling, Andrew Stewart, Ops Crazy Media, Daz Jacob, Conan Higgins, Irish Nachos, Sam Cedarlin, Don Lucania, Celery Man, and Jenna Marie Johnson.